antenna. Huh, I think that's White Forest. Well, we're close enough to make it the rest of the way on foot if we have to. Right? Wake up, dog. Please. <laughs> You're all right. You had me worried there. Everything working all right? Good. You all right down there? We're fine. This dog Better now. Just follow the stream, then head up the other side. White Forest is right there! You can't miss it! All right, thanks. Okay, let's go. Come on, boy. Good boy. close when we saw a dog take off like that. I was never so glad to see him, believe me. Well, Gordon, White Forest, we made it. Safe at last. Hello, Dr. Freeman. Freeman. 
women, and about time, too. Alex, Dr. Freeman, you made it. Hey! Boy, are we glad to be here. Yeah, we heard you ran into a little trouble out there. The Combine's been trying to hit in the front door. <laughs> I think they learned their lesson. You mind if we uh, keep dog patrolling out here? <laughs> Not at all. You heard him, dog. I'm gonna go see Dad. I'll catch up to you later. You take care of yourself. I don't think Eli knows you're here yet. He's in Silo One Access Unit, right through here. You feel it? Shall we? I feel it. You smell that? I don't feel anything Freedom. anymore. <laughs> you you talking you to both. me? Oh no, what's that? This is bullshit. What? All right, back to work, everyone. It's just another false alarm in the secondary silo. Let's take a walk. Same old Dr. Magnuson. So, you ever used an AR-2 before? AR-2? No. Now, an AR-3, sure. Plenty of times. There is no such thing as an AR-3. Well, see, in the city, the place was lousy with AR-3s. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it was So, do you know what the alternative fire method does on the AR-2? It kills hunters. How did you city folk kill hunters? We sure as hell didn't use guns. We would just wrestle hunters to the ground with our bare hands. I used to kill 10, 20 a day, just using my fists. Oh, so when you're out in the field, you're gonna be punching hunters? In the field? I'm not going out in the field. I'm a radio operator. <sighs> That's it. Leave. You don't need to be here, and I'm not going to continue the lesson until you leave. I'm staying right here. I am serious. Leave. <clears throat> I'm not going to continue until you leave. I can't believe this day has finally come. Excuse me. No time now, Doc. There, there, sweetheart. We're together now. That's all that matters. And look at you, son. <laughs> I knew if you both stayed together, you could get through anything. Yeah? We make a pretty good team. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good, because, well, now that the suppression feels down, we all have to do our part. Dad? Can you blame an old man for warning grandkids? <laughs> <laughs> What's... What happened to you? Dad, it's not what it looks like. I'm fine. Are you sure? Shouldn't we have that look at? Really? I'm fine. Uh, where's Dr. Kleiner? We should get this data to him right away. Uh, okay. Yes. Yes, we should. He'll be glad for a chance to get out of the silo. This way, Gordon. The way he and Magnuson have been going at it, you'd think they were still competing for grant money. <laughs> <laughs> Some things never change. <laughs> Do we have any idea how long until the super portal's active? We don't know for certain. We're keeping an eye on it. And what about the Combine? Will we be able to launch before they attack? It's gonna be close. All it would take is one strider to destroy our rocket. But we're ready for them. I'm sorry we couldn't get here any sooner, Dad. Don't worry, sweetheart. We're gonna make it. I'm just so glad to have you back. I'm glad to be back.
Why didn't you tell me they'd arrive? Don't worry, Izzy. They just got here. My dear, what a relief. Not to mention a delight to see you here at last. And Gordon, I see you in the HEV suit have taken excellent care of each other. <laughs> They're inseparable. The data, people, the data! Kleiner, are you going to sync up the satellite, or should I postpone the launch to make time for a family reunion? Oh, brother. All right, all right. I was just saying hello to Alex and Gordon. Oh, fine. No one grants me a moment's peace, but by all means, unroll the red car. Good grief. I only meant they might... Oh, no, no. oh, never mind him. Now, my dear, where is this data packet you've been carrying? If I delay a single moment, I'll never hear the end of it. You have my word on it. It's right here, Dr. Kleiner. We've got a ton of data. The strange thing is, it was all attached to a transmission from Judith. Transmission? From Judith? Do you mean the message didn't get through? We've got to see this right away. Just let me start the decoding process, and then we can view it in the auxiliary control room. For God's sake, hurry. Yes, yes. Of course. Another alarm? Oh, what next in the parade of constant interruptions? Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Anyone? Ugh. False alarms all day. Damn crows have been nesting in the tracks. I do not know how I am supposed to concentrate with all of this racket. Freeman. Freeman, you're not doing anything. Make yourself useful and find out what the hell is going on in there. Uh, yes. Gordon, if you don't mind, I'd feel better if you had a look. Catch up with us when you're done. Freeman! Doors will have sealed due to the alert, so you'll have to go through the bottom of the launch tube. I'll open this hatch to let you down. Now, once you're down there, I'll have Uriah let you into the secondary silo. Well, what are you waiting for, Freeman? A hug? The situation's not going to investigate itself. Secondary silo can be reached through here. 